so we saw matrix representation of a relation right uh, given a set s with 1 2 3 4 and a relation example which we saw already correct the matrix representation will go something like this right this is very clear to us we have seen this already what we'll be discussing in this uh, presentation is what is called a graph representation a graph representation is sort of self explanatory all i do is i write a node for every element of s s has 1 2 3 4 so i write four nodes and i label them as 1 2 3 and 4 so what do i do 1 comma 1 is present in r so what i do is i put an arrow from 1 to 1 2 comma 2 is present in r so i put an arrow from 2 to 2 2 comma 3 is present in r so i put an arrow from 2 to 3 and so on 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 and 4 comma 1 correct so there are six elements in r so there are six edges here 1 2 3 4 5 6 as you can see okay. so please uh, remember what we have discussed so far we saw what is a relation we saw examples of relations different examples and we particularly saw what is reflexive symmetric and a transitive relation we also saw what is an anti-symmetric relation so you may want to recollect uh, all these things and if you don't understand what is reflexive symmetric transitive and anti-symmetric now is the right time to pause the video and go revise it and then come back okay so what's a partially ordered set we have studied this in detail Rather, we are going to study this in detail right now. We have only defined it so far. Okay, look at this example, the same example that we saw before, right? A relation uh, and its graph representation. So we know how a relation can be represented as a set, correct? So we have a relation R, which is a subset of S cross S. That's like the set representation, a set representation. We also saw how it can be represented as a matrix. That's called the matrix representation. We just now saw how it can also be represented as a graph. These three are three different representations of the same concept called relations. Right? So you're familiar with all three of them now. Please note these graphs are directed. You just don't put a, a edge from 3 to 1. Right? You also put an arrow at the end. Correct? Okay, such a graph is called a directed graph. Let's move on. Look at this example. Uh, the set S comprises of 1, 2, 3, 4. And the relation R is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 4, 1. Is it reflexive? Obviously not. You can, you can tell me why. Is it symmetric? No. Transitive? Certainly not. 1, 2 is there, 2, 3 is there, but 1, 3 is not there. Is it anti-symmetric? Yes, it is, by definition, because 1, 2 is there and 2, 1 is not there, correct? Okay, let's look at the graphical representation of this. All the nodes with their labels, and then you have an edge from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. I'm sorry, there's a, um, a mistake here. It shouldn't be 4, 5, it should be 4, 1. Okay, 4, 1. So this is the relation R, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1. And this is the graphical representation. Now, such a graph is called a cycle. You may want to remember this. So this is called a cycle. You know, as, an as it is obvious, um, it, it, is, it starts from 1 and goes till 1. Huh? Please note, if you had 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 1, 4, this wouldn't be a cycle. Cycle uh, is a closed figure where the directions are also in the direction of the flow. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1. If it was 1, 2 and 3, 2 here instead of 2, 3, it wouldn't form a cycle. Let's go to the next slide. So let's revise what is a partially ordered set. As you know, it is something that is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive. Right? So let's see a nice theorem based on this. The theorem states a graph representation of a partially ordered, partially ordered set it cannot have cycles in it. Uh, what does it mean? You, do you take a partially ordered set, a relation that is a partially ordered set, right? which, is, which means a relation that is reflexive, anti-symmetric and transitive. 
it cannot have cycles in it. What if there is a cycle in it? Think about it. Before going through the proof, maybe you may want to pause the video and then try to see why a partially ordered set cannot have cycles in it. A relation that satisfies reflexive, antisymmetric and transitive cannot afford to have cycles in it. Let's prove this by contradiction. You should be able to prove it all by yourself. If not, you can just continue watching this video. So let's attempt the proof. I'll give you the intuition of the proof and the details you can always write. It's pretty straightforward. Let's look at the previous example where we wrote four nodes and a cycle on it. Consider this example. It's a relation, correct? Okay. A question, is it transitive? Definitely not. Please note this. This is not transitive. So this is not obviously a poset, just this relation. Now we are going to ask slightly a different question. This is not transitive. Okay, let me wrap this. The question is, what, what if you are given a relation which has four cycle in it? What do you mean by it has four cycle in it? By that I mean it, it contains this particular object. It has this object. Please note this. Any relation that has a four cycle in it can't be a poset. Is all we are trying to say. If, if you notice a four cycle in a, in a relation, in the graphical representation of the relation, if you notice a four cycle, you can close your eyes and say it is not a partially ordered set. Why is that? The reason is straightforward. Please observe. Let's assume there is a relation with uh, a four cycle in it. One, two, three, four, whatever this uh, figure is here. Assume there is such a relation with this particular figure there. Then what will happen? You see, 1 comma 2 is present and 2 comma 3 is present implies 1 comma 3 is present. Please note, this is part of a relation. You have this object. Doesn't mean 1 comma 3 is not there or 2 comma 4 is not there. I'm only saying a 4 cycle is there. Okay? Alright. So given that, given that 1 comma 2 is there and 2 comma 1 is there, it implies that 1 comma 3 is there. Correct? Similarly, given that 1 comma 3 is there and 3 comma 4 is there, implies 1 comma 4 is there. Why? Because a partially, a partially ordered set is by definition a transitive relation as well, apart from reflexive and antisymmetric. So please observe that 1 comma 4 is there. Look at this. Look at this. 1 comma 4 is there, but 4 comma 1 is also there. Correct? We derived that 1 comma 4 is there. We derived that 1 comma 4 is there. But we observe that 4 comma 1 is also there. Now that's a problem. Correct? 4 comma 1 and 1 comma 4 both are there. This is a contradiction. Please note, from where did we start? We started with the fact that there is a poset and its graphical representation we have a 4 cycle. And we now have a contradiction. What is a contradiction? This cannot be antisymmetric given that 4 comma 1 and 1 comma 4 both are there. Now that's the proof for the fact that a graph representation of a partially ordered set cannot have cycles in it. I just showed how it cannot have a 4 cycle in it. You can in fact show that it cannot have a 5 cycle in it, 6 cycle in it or in general any k cycle in it. So the question is you should be able to prove this in general. The it's just proof will just have details but the idea behind the proof is what I just now explained. 